Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of me playing Undertale. And in the last episode I finally defeated Metaton, who turned out to be kind of a good guy type situation. I'm still not too sure about that. And now we are about to meet Asgore, apparently. So without any further ado, let's jump straight back in. Let's go. Okay. And we're back. And we are in front of the castle elevator. So uh, let's see. Okay, yes. Maybe there is something here at the end of this. Oh, we can walk around the castle walls. Uh, okay. I don't know if that's at all the right place to go. Oh, wow. Why can I save here again? New home? Did I just spoil myself? <laughs> um, oh my god, it looks like Toriel's house. Always blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Okay. Oh my god. But the flowers are fresh. It's a golden flower. Why? Why? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human ca called out for help. Okay... There's a key. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. I definitely should not have been here. I think I should have went up the elevator first, but um... Okay. <laughs> Room under renovations? Still, there's another key. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Okay, you took the key and put it on your phone's keychain again. Let's see. Oh my. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is, nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Okay, okay, I think I'll just go and check out this one room that I haven't checked out yet and then I'll go up the elevator because I don't know. I am i don't think I'm supposed to be here. Why are there gifts? There's a heart-shaped lock inside the box. Will you take it? No, I won't take it. It's probably the exact same here. No, there's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? No. Okay. Okay, so I'm back here. I'm just gonna save here because I guess that's a bit closer to where we need to be for now. Let's see. The elevator is in use. So I had to go up there anyway. Anyway, the elevator isn't working, but it was in use just a second ago. Well, okay, so that was the right way. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll save here again then at, at new home. Um, let's unlock these and see what's happening then one day the human became very ill oh that's not nice the sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village but there was nothing we could do oh that's why there's so many flowers here the next day the next day, the human passed away. Okay. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into, sun into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. I'm just gonna say those words now. It doesn't really matter all that much now, I guess. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But... Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh. The kingdom fell into despair. 
The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. And King Asgore will save us all. Okay. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? I'm not too sure what to feel right now. You're going to be free. Why does that not sound so pos positive? Um, I can save here. Maybe I should. Last corridor. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna see if this elevator works. It does. Where do I go first? Do I go here first? Ah! Okay, I guess I have to continue here then. I, can, I can't move anymore, okay. Um... Is that Sans? It's not Sans. Can't be Sans. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. There was only Toriel and I'm so sorry still, oh my god. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. I think I did pretty well, except for that one time. Um, I, I hope that they won't judge- It is, Hans! Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave up to you. Um, okay, Sans is gone. Okay. We'll see what happens now. I guess we'll meet Asgore. What's... what does this say? Throne room. And I can save here. That's always a good sign. Throne entrance. Is there anything here? There is. What is here though? Oh my god. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Shuki. Uh, it's empty. Okay. Okay, well I guess we'll check out the throne room here. Okay. Oh, a blackbird. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Oh. Here we are. <gasps> Howdy! How can I. Why does. If that's Asgore. Toriel looked pretty similar. Is uh, was Toriel the queen? I I hope not. I'm confused. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. No, you seem like a really nice person or monster. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Oh God. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. I don't really think I'm ready, to be honest, but uh, I guess here we go. Throne room. Okay, well, let's go. Oh, God. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Yeah, that makes it a lot better. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Oh my god! The end! Okay. Well, let's go. Okay. 
Ooh, wow. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue or go back. I will continue. I see. This is it then. Oh god. Ready? No. What is... Is that souls? I'm guessing that's souls. A strange light fills the room. Oh, the music is not too bad. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination! Human. What is it? It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh god. Oh my god. Um... Um, I guess mercy is no option anymore. Um, 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 I could check first and then talk. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Oh my, oh my, oh my, okay. I have no chance. <laughs> Let's talk. But there was nothing to say. What do you mean? Oh my god. Why is there no way to escape here? I th there's still nothing to say. No. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I can kind of escape, I guess. Not really. Well, I will... <laughs> well, that's it uh, with the next hit, I would say. Oh, oh. And that's me. Yay. How am I supposed to do anything here? I don't want... I don't want to fight. That's that's my main thing here. And I, can, I have no item. And I can... All I can do is, like... Try and talk. Oh, you tell Asgore that he's killed you once before. He nods sadly. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, I kind of... Well, not really got away with it, but uh, a, a little bit. But there was nothing to say. Ah, I see. So I guess I just need to be uh, killed several times now so that I can tell him over and over again. <laughs> so I will just try and be... Yeah, that. <laughs> You tell Asgore that he killed you three times. He nods sadly. We'll see if there's any changes in uh, what we can talk about now. There's nothing to say, what do you mean? You tell Asgore that he's killed you too many times to count. He nods pitifully. There was nothing to say. Oh my god. I got hit. <laughs> okay, so I thought about this and I guess... I will just try and attack him, even though, well, I don't want to. But we'll see if that does anything. I guess I can... All I can do is try. I don't even know how to attack someone. <laughs> As we could see there now. Okay, it, I did something. I did something. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at dodging here. Okay, so let's uh, try this again. Ooh, <laughs> that was bad. Super bad. Oh, okay. Don't know what that does, but here we go. Ooh. Oh god. Okay, let's fight again. And I don't. I really don't know where to hit, because I never really used it, because I didn't want to fight anyone. But here I am. No chance to do anything else, I guess. That is way quicker than it was before. Great. Ah, okay, so I have to try and get the middle of... Of that thing, I guess. Um, ooh. Blue and blue, so I don't move. Okay. Center, center, center-ish. <laughs> Not too great, this one. Oh my god, this one's so bad. I hate it. Ah, I hate it. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, so I just went to grab some junk food. Uh, we'll see if that helps this time. Okay, I have to concentrate to really hit the, the center of my attack thingy thing.
Okay. I somehow managed to deal over 700 damage. Nice. Whew. Ah. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. Oh, Toriel! She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. Oh my god. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Um. Oh my god. I don't want to... But I mean he wants but he wants to see them, but I don't want to hurt him. I kind of want to have mercy on him. Well oh god. Please don't hate me. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human. I promise you, for as long as you remain here. My wife and I will take care of you as best we can. Oh my god, Toriel! We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... like a family. Oh god. What? 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 No! What? You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Oh my god. Why? What? Wait. The game just closed. Um... Wait. It, it pretends that the file is kind of broken? What the hell? Continue? Oh my god, what the... I can't do it. Oh my, what the... File erased? What do you mean? Oh my god, this game... Howdy! It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Oh my, what? Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? And terrified? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Flowey? Oh, and forget about esca escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? Hehehe. <laughs> You really are an idiot.
Um. Oh god. I can't do anything. Oh my. What? No. How's this the ending? Um. Oh god. Oh. What? Um. What is going on? What is this? <laughs> Why? A fight? I can I can press fight. Fight. <laughs> what was that? What was that? This is all just a bad dream. Yeah. And you're never waking up. Oh my god. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh my god, it stopped again! Um, alright everybody, I think I will end this episode here, but I guess this is not over yet. So uh, thank you so much for watching, uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!